You know, folks, a few months ago while I was in the desert, I upgraded my solar system in a trailer. And after I did that, I began thinking, you know, it would be a great idea if I added a refrigerator or a freezer to the trailer because now I have the power. Lo and behold, Bougie RV contacted me and uh, ended up sending me a 55 quart refrigerator, freezer. Bouge. It's Bouge. We're going to unbox it and I'm going to install it. And then I'm going to run it for about a week. I'll put some stuff in it, see how it works. All right, we have some 12 volt cords and regular 120. Got some instructions. It comes with two baskets and it comes with a divider. So you can have it all as one unit, either freezer or refrigerator, or you can put that back and now you have probably your freezer, refrigerator, or I guess you can reverse it. You can have refrigerator and freezer. I guess it's reversible. It's all anything you want, folks. It's got a drain over here in case you need to drain it. Just don't do it inside the van. Beautiful design, folks. Nice and rugged. This is, seems to be aluminum. This is a hard plastic. Very rugged. I would have preferred probably not in aluminum. Maybe all rugged plastic would have been better. Tougher material. This will get dirty really quick. Fingerprints and all that. But it still looks nice, you know. Clean it once in a while and it'll look beautiful. This lid is uh, reversible, so you can have the handle on this side with the vent over here, but if you turn the refrigerator around, you may not want this to open on that side. So you just have to lift and then lift the lid and then reverse it. Put it on this side and now you can reverse everything and have this open whichever way you want. That's pretty cool. I like it. Seems to be a nice heavy duty lid and uh, and handle thing here. This is called the Rocky 50. Even though it's a 55 quart refrigerator, you got three cup holders right here. They're not going to hold the cups if you're driving, but if you're standing still, you got three of them. You can use this as a, a table also, or a storage area. The total volume is 52 liters without this partition in the middle. The left box is 22 liters, and the right box is 27 liters. This is the control panel. I haven't turned it on, so I don't know what it looks like. You got nice beefy handles right here to lift this up. And this is where you plug in your 12 volt stuff this is for the solar and you got storage here for a battery you can include a battery in there in case you lose power then that will last a few hours it's about 28 inches wide by about 18 inches by about 18 inches 17 something so it's a pretty good size I could have picked whatever size they had. I think the biggest one is the this one. <laughs> it's the Rocky Rocky 75, which is the 80 quart refrigerator. It was too big for my trailer, so I picked this one. I think this is 
this will fit perfectly over here in the corner. I may have to do some remodeling, but that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to uh, wire so I can plug this in. I'm going to cut some wood over here so I can fit it in place. And, and then I'm going to get uh, some water. I'm going to put a couple gallons of water in here. And I'm going to set it on freeze. Uh, and then I'm going to see what happens by the weekend, in about a week or so. If it's holding and if it's working good, then I'll buy some food and fill this up with food or pretty close to full and and then hopefully it'll work and my food won't spoil but it's a beautiful refrigerator they're not paying me to say any good things about this I did get it for free but if it doesn't work properly I'm going to say it if it works good I'm going to say it and, and that's just the way it is so, so far I like it like I said I would prefer this to be rugged plastic but some people may prefer the aluminum. It looks beautiful. I'm not saying it's not beautiful. It is beautiful, but um, the plastic might be easier to clean. But like I said, some people might prefer the aluminum and they might be fine. Set this one on five. And now we set this one a five. Motorcycle and fridge fits perfectly together. That's why I picked the, the smaller one, not so tall, so that the bike can tilt over. And if I have to, I have room to jump over the refrigerator and come over here if I decide to come in through the side door over there. So yeah, so far so good. I turned the thing on and it's cooling down really quick. So I like it so far. It's about 5.30 in the morning. And how are we? We are at six and 12. Now let's see if anything is frozen. That's frozen. And this is frozen. I had to turn off the refrigerator because I just didn't have enough power. I probably have enough solar, but not enough batteries. And that's what I just did. I added a third battery. Now I have about 160 amps instead of just about 100. So that should be enough combined with 325 watts of solar. It's 91 inside the trailer. It's been hot in here every day. And I've turned this off about three... About three days ago, I turned this off. And the interesting thing, folks, the inside the refrigerator is still at 50. It's still cool in here. This is turned to water. The water is still very cold. And this one, this one still has ice in it. So, three days without being on, and everything is still cold in here, relatively cold, and I still have ice in there. So pretty good.
There you go, folks. Got some food in here. It's not a lot, but eventually I'll get more stuff in here. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll continue to work just the way it's working. And uh, it seems to be pretty cold in there. And I'm liking it. I got to put some uh, foam insulation underneath when I have a chance to, to buy some. It's going to cushion the refrigerator when I drive. And it's going to insulate it a little bit more. So, very good. I like it. This is going to come in hand even more when I go back out west. Right now I'm going back east. And the stores all over the place. I'm going to fill it up with stuff. This way I don't have to keep going to uh, this particular store that I like to go to that where food is cheaper and more in bulk but cheaper and I can fill this up with that kind of food and when I go out west I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to fill it up I like to buy these big fillets of uh, wild caught Alaskan salmon and I can buy it really cheap at that store versus double the price somewhere else so I can put three or four pieces in here about that big instead of just one in my other refrigerator so that's it's a big difference and other meats and stuff and frozen berries whatever I can put in here there are stores near me about a half hour from where I camp but obviously the food is going to be more expensive I'm still going to go there I'm still going to buy locally but I'm going to fill this up before uh, I, I, I go to my camping spots. So, yeah, I like it. I like it very much. I got to tidy up these cables a little bit. And, um, and yeah, unsecure the refrigerator. So when I start driving around, it doesn't uh, shake all over the place. I can put some stuff in here for now so it doesn't move. But I want to put something else here. And, yeah, we'll see what happens, folks. But so far... I'm really liking the Boge RV, Boge RV, um, 55 quart Rocky 50 refrigerator freezer. And right now I'm using it as a freezer and I'm loving it. And that extra battery that I installed, I think it's all I need. I'm, I don't have to add any more solar, I believe. If I have to, I will, but so far I'm loving it.